reasons why your mulatto soap changed color. Hey lovers of our secret, how are you doing? If you're seeing my face for the first time, you're welcome to the channel. My name is Val and on this channel we talk about skincare, product review and natural ways to solve your problems. If this is what you're interested in, please subscribe to this channel. Subscription is free. And turn on your post notification bell so that anytime I upload, you will be the first person to see my video. Yes, guys. And to my amazing subscribers, to my amazing subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my video. Yes, guys. Today, I will be talking about reasons why your mulatto soap change color before we dive into the video please we sell organic products vast secret organic products we have seven days whitening lotion we have flawless lotion snow white product we have the lotion this soap and we have the full kit yes guys we have kiddies set kiddies lotion soap and so on if you need any of our products if you need any of our products, please send me a DM. Okay, guys. And please, we ship worldwide. Yes, guys. Today, I will be talking about the reasons why your mulatto soap changed color. Yes. Some people complain. A lot of people, they complain about their mulatto soaps change color after days of making their soap and they don't know the reason why okay number one reason why your soap your mulatto soap change color is that you mix a whole lot of soap of different colors together okay let's say for instance you want to make a mulatto soap and you want to achieve um orange color yes you want to achieve orange color and you you're using nano soap which is orange in color then you're using k brothers which is which is also orange in color then you are adding bleaching kojic soap which is blue it, it, it is dark blue in color you adding kojic bleaching kojic soap to that soap to the rest of the soap you already messed everything up because it will not give you that color that you desire which is orange color it will not give you because you already missed Diff miss different soap up or you're using orange color soap then you're using green color soap then you're using white color soap and you want to achieve orange color no so when you are making your mulatto soap you have to be selective of the kind of soap you use let's say for instance you want to make um a mulatto soap green mulatto soap then you go for green soaps select your soap carefully go for green soap soaps that are green whitening green soap you want to make yellow you go for yellow soaps you want to make white you go for white soap you want to make red you go for red soap don't combine different colors together because it will not give you that color that you desire no it won't give you it will mess you you combine the different soap together you already messed everything up so be selective one thing is to be selective about the soap you'll be using okay guys and second thing is the kind of ingredients you add in your mulatto soap in your mulatto soap matters a lot for instance, your powders. 
when making black soap you can add a whole lot of powders you can add different types of powders regardless of their colors you add them to your black soap your soap is already black so whatever you are adding to it does not matter because why it's dark in color so whatever you are adding inside your black soap the, the soap is okay it absorbs anything mulatto's case I'm making mulatto soap is not like that it's another thing entirely you have to be selective of the kind of powders you use for instance you are making a mulatto soap then you are adding your neem powder to it it will change the color it will change the color except except you're making the green soap because neem powder is green in color for me i won't advise you to even add neem powder in your mulatto soap instead of neem powder use neem oil there is neem oil you can add your neem oil to it add your neem oil to it instead replace the neem powder with neem oil okay guys the kind of powders you add matters a lot and please don't soak your soap with cleanser when making your mulatto soap don't soak that soap with cleanser yes don't soak it it will change the color of that soap it will change the color of your black soap so don't add cleanser to your mulatto soap please some people will say I, I want it to be more effective i want to soak it with cleanser i want to soak it with this i want to soak it with that don't soak it with cleanser because it will definitely change the color of the soap it will change the color imagine you're making a beautiful soap a yellow soap that is so beautiful a green soap that is so beautiful at the end of the day after three days five days one week the soap changed color Ah, you won't like it and you can't sell such soap out to a client because any client you're giving your soap and at the end of the day you change color they will tell you that the soap has spoiled for the fact that the soap changed does not make that the effectiveness has reduced no changing color is something that a lot of people don't want to see please you won't like it because May seeing it, you know that ah, you just messed up things. There are things you're not doing right. So to avoid this simple mistake, be selective of the kind of soap you use. Be selective of the powders you use. And don't add cleanser to it. Another thing is the kind of serum you use is very important. Because there are some serums that you add to your mulatto soap, it will change color. It will change color. The kind of serums you use. So when you're making a mulatto soap, you have to be selective of your soap, of your powders and serums that you use. And please don't use cleansers in soaking your soap. Okay, guys. So be mindful of the kind of serum you use and after making your mulatto soap your perfect mulatto soap things you can also add to prevent something you can also add to prevent it from changing color because you might select your soap carefully and after making this soap Make it a perfect soap, a perfect mulatto soap. Another thing you have to add to it so that it will not change color. is your makeup powder, your coloring, add it to it. If you're making a, if you're making an orange color, pink color, add, if you are making pink color, add pink color to your soap when making it so that that color will retain so that it will not change color because mulatto soap is tricky is something that is that soap eh, is so tricky that when you make this perfect mulatto soap 
you have to add your coloring make a powder or any coloring of your choice add it to it so that you'll be sure you'll be guaranteed that that soap will not change color and it will not change color when you add food coloring to it your makeup powder to it it will not change color nothing will make it change color but if you don't add it to it there is every possibility that it will change if you don't add your coloring to it your makeup powder your and also don't use a container when you are packaging your soap don't use a container that has aluminium cover don't use it use the one that have plastic to package it because like i said before mulatto soap is one trickish soap that any slight mistake that soap will change color it will change color especially for those who sell that you're making the soap to sell it if it's your personal soap and it change color you don't have problem with it because you know that you know what you add to the soap you know that it's still effective but when you're selling it to a client they will see it as ah this one has spoiled and it's no longer effective you know so to avoid such mistake in mulatto soap these are things that you should do and things you shouldn't so i hope you find this video helpful and please guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have been watching my video and you have not subscribed and you always watch my video please subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notification bell so that anytime i upload you will be the first person to be notified yes guys see you in my next video thank you guys